with avocado prices so cheap, you can kind of think they're cheaper than a muesli bar. So why not have them as an afternoon snack? And that is simple. That is just like a half avo situation. And so I've got some half avo combinations that I thought I would inspire you with. Uh, things like you can keep it as simple as, say, some sesame seeds with some olive oil and some lemon juice, maybe a herb of some description. If you think herb, oil, some sort of aromatic or seasoning, you'll be happy. And I've got some combos for you to try, okay. Michael Rowland. Sure. So that is very easy for you. Crumble some feta, squirt of lemon juice and some mint. Lovely kind of Greek combination yeah, there. Yeah, it looks very Greek. And uh, you can pop that on toast if you want to, smash it through and make like an avocado smash. You know, mm. make yes. famous Pastry, by well, that's yeah. all. That's <laughs> all Michael cooks. And while you keep eating, I have so many questions about how do you keep the other half of the avocado fresh? Is it if they go brown? I was recently given like toast with brown avocado on it, and I'm like, is this okay to eat? Like, what's the deal? A very good question, Catherine Murphy. Mm. Absolutely, very, very um, fine to eat. It's just oxidised, so okay. it's just been out in the atmosphere, and so you can prevent that from happening by acidulating. So some lemon juice squirted yes. on the top of your half, or and keeping it. Uh, Keep the other half. Exactly. Keep the other Is half the like, best a, way? like a lid. Or you could use beeswax wrap. Uh, you can use any kind of kind of cover. Some people on the online have been popping it upside down in some acidulated water, but I would not do that. And the reason why is because especially um, if you leave it in there, it actually leaches flavour out into the water. So a little bit of squirt of lemon juice is enough and then cover it either with the other half skin or some beeswax wrap or any kind of cover. Um, and my, yeah, it's a no to acidulated water, Michael. Oh, you were asking me about it earlier. Oh, right, OK, it. OK. And I give that an 11, an 11 out of 10. Alice. It's a good little combo. It isn't is, it, and it's so simple. So simple, that's it. And so, um, you know, avocados are full of really good fats mm. and particularly good as a brain break. So if you find yourself at about that 3 pm slump, something that's rich in um, monounsaturated fats like avocado, like nuts, is going to give you a lot more of that slow, re mm. slow release energy that you need. But if you're craving chocolate yes. at 3 yes. pm, as always, why always. not uh, combine avocado with mm. chocolate? And if you open up an avo and it is brown, mm. at, it is going to have a bit of a kind of an affected flavour. But in this instance, what you can do is you can mask it with some <laughs> melted dark chocolate combined. Yes. Oh. I am going, considering you two are so very Actually, kindly and one, graciously no, sharing. Very well there you go, You're very well behaved. Mm. Give that a try. That is a chocolate avocado mousse with a little bit of freeze dried raspberry. We could use fresh berries as they come into mm. season. Mm. Give that a taste, Nate, and tell me what you think. Mm. No, no. We're like really fatty and chocolatey and yum. Ooh, rich, how do you mean? Like, how rich are you is doing the word here, not fatty. <laughs> <laughs> well, Sorry. I, I mean, it, it has that sort of fatty mouthfeel, the mm. coating of mm. the mouthfeel, which you get from really good quality dark chocolate. But the avocado acts like the cream in a ganache. Yeah. And so it is a plant based dessert, if you've got some plant based eaters coming round. And it's a really good thing to kind of make the day before. So I made that, you know, I didn't have to make that first thing this morning. Oh, so mm. not only is she giving me old avocado, she's giving me old avocado. <laughs> Avocado ganache. Too. <laughs> um, how much? How much uh, avocado is in that? Equal parts. Oh okay. yeah. Yep. Nice. So 200 grams of chocolate to mm. you know a 200 gram avocado. And uh, I should say too, mm. buy your <laughs> if you are worried about avocados going brown, yeah. buy them hard. Don't okay. squeeze an avocado. Yeah, but then they get ripe when you're not watching and it's like, <laughs> why can't they have a little alarm on them going, I'm ready? Because then you buy them really hard and then they're. They're done. Yeah, you some, just get to them too late. Some shops will tell you they'll have like a green means go sign. So green, yellow, red to tell you when they're ready to be eaten, right. which is very useful. But if you are checking at home, if you can press the top, the nub of the avocado in, then that is that means that it's nice and, and ripe. And don't go squeezing your avocados at the shops because that just means that somebody else goes home with your fingerprint in their avocado. <laughs> Alice, how, do, how do I know if I can buy them if I don't squeeze them all? You've got to be patient. You're all that type. You're, you're all that <laughs> One. I'm your squeezer. And how, how often do they, how quickly the, do they take to ripen? If, if you buy one hard at the local supermarket, take it About home? About a week. And right. you can okay. accelerate that by putting them into a bag with a banana too. <laughs> and what? I should, Whoa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The banana no, farts no. out ethylene and it and it, yep. accent, uh, it accelerates the, the ripening. That's so you're putting them in a bag with a banana yeah. and just carry it with you so you don't forget to eat that avocado. <laughs> Set an alarm on your phone. Set an alarm on your phone yeah, like two, days, two days yeah. down the track. Mm. Okay. That, that's why you've got to keep banana. 
with a banana, how many days? Uh, probably, let's say three three days, but it just depends on how how unripe you buy it. And we've saved the best till last, the nachos. Mm. Oh, I started oh, I eating them. them. <laughs> so I'm already eating mine. That's my favourite way to serve it to the Yum. family. Do it tonight. A guac can be lightened up with yogurt, which is my favourite kind of tip. You might Yum. notice the the lightness, the freshness, the zestiness. Michael's eating it like a, like a nacho sandwich, which yeah. you, you can totally do. And it really is, you know, some tin tomatoes, some Australian avocados at the peak of their season. Now's the time to be eating them. And a bit and of the coriander. Be online mm. a bit of coriander. With Ooh, coriander. The coriander is beautiful. That's I it. love it. Mm. It's just lovely. I love mm. this just like chilli on a half a yeah. avo. Like love that. Mm. You don't have to overthink it. Some mm. chilli, some lime, some coriander. If you don't like cori, you could do parsley. Again, because it is a choose your own adventure, put what you like on it. I've got oh. some furikake, which is like a Japanese rice seasoning with miso. Yeah, that and was some good. Oh. <laughs> Thank yeah, you. Sorry, what was that? Yeah, that's um, so furikake, which furikake. is a kind of rice seasoning. So you can buy it, again, you can buy it at the supermarket. And normally that would go seasoned over rice with some, you know, that's got um, seaweed and sesame mm. seeds. So you can pop that on your avo and you get that umami bomb mm. that's going to make that afternoon treat really yummy. Mm. Or you could have it for breakfast right now. Mm. You can yep. freeze avocados as well. Nate, you're so right. So if really? you bite... I knew that. I mean, yes. Of course you can, Nate. Yeah, because they're so creamy, because they're so fat, uh, fatty, mm. then you can freeze the flesh, scoop it out, freeze it, and you can pop it into your smoothies whenever you like. Brilliant.